Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anders Eblom and I'm going to do a screencast for a game I made in the course Design and Programming of Computer Games TDDD 23 at Linköping University 2012 I just want to say this is a non-commercial product that has been created using XNA Game Studio and it's also the first game I've ever made As you can see it's called Zombie Hunter uh, Yeah, that's definitely a super original name Anyway, you play as a very unfortunate guy whose only purpose is to survive as long as possible against the never-ending hordes of attacking zombies. Uh, there is really no end to the game, except that you die, you can't win, you just have to survive as long as possible to get the best high score. And we can check the high score out here. Apparently, Neil is the awesome guy that I have to beat. Uh, in the options panel, we can adjust the, the music volume and the volume for the sound effects. I'm gonna leave them quite low right now so you can hear my voice. Um, and these are the controls as well. So yeah, let's jump into a new game. Okay, so this is the guy you control. I can move him around, aim with the mouse and shoot. Uh, if I press escape Pause the game, and uh, well, you can reach the same options as in the start menu. Um, you take damage when the zombies hit you, and if you do, the health will regenerate over time. But you really want to stay untouched for as long as possible, so you can build up a multiplier, a score multiplier, uh, which will be this ball up here, and that happens when you kill. 20 zombies in a row or get a multi kill or something. Uh, you start off with a simple gun and as you progress better weapons will be dropped for you to pick up on the ground here. Um, yeah, and you get some abilities to get you out of nasty situations like here if I wasn't able to kill these zombies I can teleport out. And I can also use the uh, stim pack to shoot faster and move faster. And both of these abilities has a cooldown. Uh, yeah, I got the shotgun right here. So I'm gonna use that. And I've also speeded up the level progression here a little bit so we get somewhere. As you can see, uh, some of the killed zombies drop items on the ground. So I can pick up. It's like ammo and grenades and stuff. Let's see if we can get the grenade drop here. Doesn't look like it. I'm um, gonna pick up the sniper rifle here. And I just reached the maximum score multiplier, which is 5. As you can see, these zombies with the purple health bar, they take a little bit more damage than the normal guys. And the yellow ones are quicker and they explode when they touch you. I just picked up a grenade, so we're gonna throw one in here. And uh, over there we can see another item that I can pick up, which is the decoy. See if I can. Oh, that was really bad of me. And they look like this. You can throw them out on the ground, and the zombies will hunt the decoys instead of me. Which can be really handy. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that was really stupid of me. <laughs> I just picked up the Hadouken and it explodes when you shoot it. So yeah, my bad, but hey, cool. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you. And uh, well, it looks like we beat Neil. <laughs> um, well, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day. Hadouken!